Hello everyone, welcome to my channel English Excel. In today's video, I am going to discuss the types of HPLC column. Depending on the analysis, HPLC columns are various types. So, analytical point of view, this video is very important and helpful. So, watch the video till the end. Before studying the video, I want to tell you, if you are new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for latest video updates. So let's begin. First of all, we should know what is HPLC column. Column is the heart of the HPLC. The column is stationary page separates the sample components of interest using various physical and chemical parameters. It is usually made of stainless steel to withstand high pressure caused by the pump to move the mobile face through the column taking other materials including pick and glass. The small particles inside the column called packing, what cause the high back pressure at normal flow rates. Packing materials of the column is usually silica gel because of its particle shape, surface properties and pore structure gives us a good separation. Types of HPLC column. There are various columns that can be used in HPLC method. These are as follows, guard column, derivatizing column, capillary column, first column, analytical column, and preparatory column. The first one is guard column. Guard column are placed anterior to the separating column. This protects and prolongs the life and usefulness of the separating column. Guard are used to filter or remove particles that clog the separating column and removes compounds or ions that could ultimately cause baseline drift, decrease resolution, decrease sensitivity and create false peaks. This column also removes compounds that precipitation upon contact with the stationary or mobile page. These columns must be changed on a regular basis in order to optimize their protectiveness. Next is derivatizing column. Derivatization involves a chemical reaction between an analyte and a reagent to change the chemical and physical properties of an analyte. The main uses of derivatization in HPLC are improve detectability, change the matrix for better separation, stabilize a sensitive analyte, and change the molecular structure and polarity of analyte for better chromatography. The disadvantage of this column is it becomes a complex procedure and so it acts as a source of error to analysis and increase the total analysis time. And the advantage is although it has drawbacks, it may still be required to solve a specific separation or detection problem. Next is capillary columns. HPLC lead to a smaller column called as micro column. Capillary column which has diameter less than a millimeter. Diameter of small bore columns is 1 to 2 mm. Next is fast columns. This column also have the same internal diameter but much shorter length than the most other column. Using this column, you can increase sensitivity, decrease analysis time, decrease mobile fair uses and increase the reproducibility. Next is analytical column. This is the most important part of the HPLC which decides the efficiency of separation. Length is 5 to 25 centimeter and the internal diameter is 3 to 5 mm. LC columns achieve separation by different intermolecular forces between the solute and stationary phase and those between the solute and mobile phase. And the last one is preparatory column. Length is 10 to 15 centimeter and the internal diameter is 4.6 mm. It packed with particles having 5 micrometer as diameter. It consists of back pressure regulator and fraction collector. This back pressure regulator is placed posterior to the HPLC detector. This is all about the various types of HPLC column. Hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching.